Hey there, I have another saver for you guys to take a look at. This is a uh, Corbath uh, Qui-Gon Gen. It's been uh, converted to uh, have uh, full electronics, uh, light and sound. Um, here's the full view of the saber itself. Uh, it does have a, a nice, the nice curved grips, but there is a three-fourth of an inch diameter tube that runs through it uh, that serves as the um, basis and the electronics are actually actually in that little sled up till about here uh, the blade holder is 7 8 size I didn't get it honed out any further by the machinist um, this has a nice uh, 1 inch optic module the uh, 3 4 tube ends about right here uh, right here is a 18650 lithium ion battery so it's got some pretty long run times the crystal shard soundboard by Plector Labs uh, with flash on clash and everything is right here and there is a square speaker right about here in the pommel and it has a uh, inhale recharge um, there are no visible sound holes on the saber and this switch is the on off switch and it's the only switch that's uh, active so there's no uh, blaster effects and there's no um, uh, anti-power off and or menu to go through to pick sound fonts or anything like that if anybody's not familiar with the crystal shard anyway so you pull this so that has a uh, boot sound in it obviously a uh, Qui-Gon Jinn and it's got a um, the sound font on it is Mad Cow's Fates and you can get that at saberfont.com and it's a nice bright green and it does have the flash on clash feature Oops. Oh, hit it. the uh, flash on clash is white with this LED and it, uh, another feature is that it, if you're just tapping it or around the button or anything like that when you're using the saber it doesn't turn off you have to actually hold it down and that is a actual variable setting you can set it in there uh, in the config file too. And it does have a deep sleep feature whereby it will use the absolute minimum power um, after I think it's I have it set for three or four minutes. Um, it will just go into a deep idle mode and the way you turn it back on is just tap the button and it will uh, start back up back up with the boot sound and you know you're in business. Um, that way if you're walking around with the saber in a con or uh, with your friends or something like that and it's on your belt and you have the kill key out you don't have to worry about it you know running down the battery uh, there's no idle LEDs or anything like that in the Sabre it's just um, pretty much business uh, the blade holder is uh, it's actually right here and there are three set screws holding it in place plus this button head screw and this is the blade retention screw right here it's a set screw it's 832 in case you want to replace it um, this is the uh, the cover tech knob so you can secure it onto your belt. Um, I wouldn't advise loose, loosening this. There is another um, screw inside that uh, holds the tube in place and if you take that out the tube can actually move and move the electronics around. It might break something. Okay, so let me put a blade in. This is a 7 8 blade. See if I can get the uh, flash on clash to work. Right. Turn out the lights so you guys can see. It. The two rebels are pretty bright. The blade does need a little work though. Oops. I'm gonna break my stand doing that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you the SD card access. Now to access the SD card you have to take off the pommel, 
um, pommel unscrews and this uh, this is the recharge port and it will unscrew right along with it. it you'll just see it go deeper into the hill okay uh, that's the back end of the pommel this is the recharge port of course when you're accessing the SD card I advise you to plug the kill key in okay for the um, the speaker assembly that's where these come in handy these are a pair of uh, hemostats that's what I like to use and here you just go ahead and pull this out there's also another little plastic uh, piece that's under there that I, I just wanted to put in um, just to keep this speaker pressed up against the inside of the uh, to save her so it um, it stays in place really okay now to access the SD card I don't think there's enough light for you to see it but it's it's way down in there it's like right down on this side Oops. Oh, there it goes. I wasn't pushing it on the right spot. Anyway, here you take your SD card out, make your changes to your font or your config. Um, put it in the adapter and then when you're all ready to go you just put it back in let's see if I can... oh that would make it much easier Okay, once you hear it click and lock into place, you should be good to go. Concentrate on the monitor. Feel. Don't think. Use your instincts. Okay, the speaker is set as actually as loud as it can possibly go. Um, so, uh, you can't really turn it up anymore. Now to put everything back inside. Oops, there we go. Just lay it back in the little track and push everything back in. You want to make sure there's no the speaker wire's orange, it's not up over the top here, because that will make this not sit flush. And then put your little plastic piece back in the bottom, like so. Oops, <laughs> guess you couldn't see that. It just goes in a half moon right there on the bottom, and I just push it the rest of the way in with my finger. And all that's supposed to do is actually just push back against this and kind of hold it in place. It it gets also held in place with the uh, the recharge port and everything. And speaking of which, um, to get everything uh, back in without twisting the wires up and snapping off a, a port. Just simply twist the wires uh, three turns counterclockwise. No, clockwise. And then take and put this on. Just one little turn so it holds it in place. And then just turn it back on until you get it all the way down there you go see it's in there it's nice plush save your powers on correctly no rattly noises and you're done thanks for looking and uh, have fun with your sabers